Uh, hello guys, today in this video I will show you how to use arrows in a slick slider. So this video is basically an extension of how to use a slick slider video. As I missed the arrow in there and most of you asked me how to use arrows in slick slider. So that is the reason I've come up with the video. So without wasting time, let's uh, start. So again, you uh, search, like go to the slick slider website and here you go to settings. And when you come down here, you'll see this option arrows. Okay, so this option is used to uh, show arrows in our, uh, I'm sorry, sleek uh, uh, slider. So here, if you see, then the default value is true. So right now, if we go to the website, like the slider that we have created, and if we close these uh, divs, and to not get confused, let's remove the second uh, slider that we have here. And we just refresh so that now we have only one slider here. Okay, when you open this, you will see that you already have the left and the right arrow here, but they are not visible. As I told you in the last video, we are getting the scroll bar because of that arrow itself, right? So, now to make that arrow visible, what we will be doing is here we will see that uh, it is a type boolean, boolean means, means true or false, right. So it is true by default. So we don't need to define um, arrows again in the settings over here, right? We don't need to add arrows. If you don't want that, then you can say arrows false. And now if you refresh, you'll see that the uh, scroller from the bottom also went away. And when you open this, you just have one div inside that, which means the arrows are gone, right? But we want the arrows. So, we don't define anything as by default it is true. Now, the main question is how do we get those arrows over here, right? So, to do that, if you see, you have like a left of minus 25 pixels, correct? So, just take the slick dot previous and start giving it CSS. But make sure if you have more than one slider, then use a class name of that particular slider. For our case, it is slider 1. Okay, so that it does not apply to all the sliders on the page or to any classes like to all the classes on your website that have the class slick previous, right? So let's give it a value of left zero and let's give it a background color so that you can see what's happening. So let's say background color black and I'll just move this to see. Okay, can you see that small little uh, box of 20 by 20 pixels? So that is your arrow. So you give a, like a background of a black, then let's say height. 40 pixels with 40 pixels and I think it is behind uh, the box like the slider that is the reason you are not able to see it so let's give it a z index of 9 and here you see you have your arrow so even if you don't give it a width a height or a background color you will still still see that small arrow there the only reason you were not able to see it because it was going behind your slider so that is the reason it was not visible and it had a value of um minus so that is the reason and also same thing for the slick next if you do um okay so this is the class that's being applied so give it a right of zero and here you go your slide like your arrows are up here so i hope this video helped this was just an extension to the how to use a slick slider um video so if you don't know how to use slick slider then i'll just put the link uh, of that video in the description uh, box of this particular video you can go watch that video and this part was missing in that video so this is just an extension so you can come back and watch this video so i hope this answered the questions of everybody who were asking about the arrows in a uh, slick here there are different things that you can do with the arrows if just let me know if you want a detailed video on that i will also make a video on how to give different arrows and how to give different css to the arrows and all that stuff but for now the basic arrows are here and you can use it with some basic css so yeah that's all for the video i hope this helped uh, please subscribe to my channel for videos similar to this and also, if you learned at least one thing from this small video, then please do not forget to press that like button. So yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much guys for watching and sticking till here. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye.